Greetings, everybody. This is the Kodo Taiko Center. This is where they train. Kodo is one of the most professional, it's, it's, it's an amazing professional Taiko group. They have been, oh, it's cold here in Niigata. It's, it's snowing. They have been uh, um, doing performances for so many years all across the world. And they're about to embark on a European tour. They're leaving, I believe, at the end of this month. And they're training and they're giving us an open inside view at what they do. This is very rare indeed. So stick with us for the next 30 minutes or so. They're going to be playing a song. Let me get out of here. I have to actually take off my shoes to get into the... Uh, to get into the center. All right, it's a very traditional, traditional place. Tons of taiko drums inside of there. You can hear them, you can hear them warming up inside. Inside those doors is taiko, everybody. So exciting. Um, if you've ever gone and seen Kodo perform, it is such an intense, uh, such an emotional show when you watch them and you hear the beats, you can tell it just kind of matches with your heartbeat. Therefore, it, it leaves a really strong impression on people. I've never met anybody who was disappointed. Let's put it that way. So, uh, they have an Earth celebration here on Sato Island in the summer. Tickets for that will be going on sale in uh, May. The website opens in April, so there's still some time. But we're going to get an inside look at how they train. What they do is intense, everybody. It's like the military, and I'm here to kind of get an inside look at their lifestyle what makes it so challenging to be a member of Kodo. Look at that. This is how they're practicing. Now the performance hasn't started yet. They're gonna start at 10 o'clock. But until then, <laughs> we, get, we get a little chance to take a look at what they're doing with different drums, warming up. This is inside of the training hall. This is where they train every day. Stretching, warming up. I've seen them doing voice voice stretching as well. So taiko drumming is more than just physical, it's very mental. You have to be in tune with the rest of the troop, the rest of the group. There's all kinds of different taiko drums you can see here. The ones that are on the ground. Each one has a different sound. It's part of the part of the team part of the sound all together of all the beats, each one having a different rhythm, adding to the song, to the music of it all. It's beautiful and it's intense. And if you ever, ever watch a performance and watch them perform, it sticks with you for, for months, almost for a year when I hear the taiko drums giving me energy. All of the taiko drummers for Kodo have a two-year apprenticeship. It's extremely challenging to be one, but anybody can be one. That means you could possibly apply if that is your dream. They do have non-Japanese members of Kodo. The name of the piece that we're going to be hearing is called The Hunted. And they're performing it. Like they're going to practice again at 6.15, but you can see the schedule's pretty intense. And there's our time slot right here. That's me right there, live. That's us. I'm so excited for this. Click the thumbs up button, guys. Encourage me to do more of these behind the scenes, inside looks and amazing stuff from all around Japan. <laughs> don't touch, I don't know. <laughs> but that, I, I saw that at Earth Celebration, that massive drum over there being banged. Those drums that are up on the up on the stilts there, it's a different kind of taiko drumming than the one. Just a different kind of muscles. And yeah, when they're on the stage, the dudes have their shirts off and my god, they're ripped. I'm saying that like just they keep in really good shape. And you can see that just uh, part of being in a taiko live concert is that there's a performance value to it. It's not just banging a drum, you have to add performance to the art of it. And that's what they practice and train for every day. Waking up at uh, quarter to seven. I've, I've been here, I've been up since five o'clock. I came over here at, at five o'clock in the morning with a couple of friends to come here to film them from the, the moment they wake up till now. 
He's he's on the fui right now. Wow, this is intense already. Just the just the practice is, is intense. Over here you can see the cubbies that they have. So each of the performer has their own little area where they can put their sticks and some of their personal effects for while they're training. All right, now they're really, we're getting close to the start time. They're supposed to start at 10 a.m. for this performance. And the way that they train, everything is very, very regimented and starting on the minute of the hour listed within the schedule. They keep to schedule. Also filming this for uh, a story about Kodo that I'm I'm producing. There's my camera right there, and I have a GoPro going, so I'll be recording the what they're what they're going to be playing today as well. I guess I can push start. Boom. Now recording. Two minutes ago, everybody. He's watching the clock right now, making sure that everybody starts on time. That's a nice angle. There we go. All right. All right, get ready. We're about to start. Once this song starts called The Hunted, I'm not going to be talking at all. I want you guys to really immerse yourself into this. So give me a thumbs up for this and definitely leave a comment below if you're watching this in playback. What did you think of this concert all the way to the end? At the end of it, I'm going to be introducing you to Leo, who... Um, is also a member, speaks very good English, and will give you some insight into not just the piece, but being a quota member, the training that's required, and some of the things that they do to, to perform at such a high level, because they are all very, very professional with, with their craft and trade, and uh, I, I don't know there are too many groups. There are a lot of really good taiko groups in Japan, but I don't know too many that are better than Kodo. They were at the opening ceremony for the Tokyo Olympics uh, stadium last month. Okay. All right, now from this moment, I can't talk at all, which is painful for me. Thanks, Danny. Oh, I talked. I'm going to be able to walk around and show you from all the different directions. So I've already mapped out a course. I'll be walking around the back and the front of them. I just can't go through them. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Because when you watch them perform, you're not allowed on this stage. Of course not. Thank <laughs> you. 
The piece starts here in the corner, I've been told. So for those of you joining us, we're, we're in Nigata on Sato Island. This is Kodo, one of Japan's top taiko groups about to go on a European tour at the end of the month. We're here in inside look to see them practice live. It's a rare look inside of the daily lives of the world's, one of the world's most famous taiko groups. Moments away from the start. I can, I can talk now? Okay, I can still talk. That's Leo. Yeah, we'll talk to you later, after, you later. The, after the piece. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. It's pretty neat. And in the back there, they have even more taiko drums. So they, they have all the tools that they need to uh, experiment and come up with new songs. And uh, the group's always innovating, coming up with new tunes that they, they'll perform all around the world. They have albums and um, it, it's just an amazing thing. They always have new talent coming in. And once you're Kodo, you're Kodo for life. It's like the Marines, you know? You're part of an elite group. And that's worth, I think, if you're, if you're young in your, in your 20s, you're interested in, in taiko drum, like to an extreme, trying out for, to be a Kodo member is, it's a serious thing. And I think it's something that, um, people should aspire to try to do if you, if you really love this art. Just try it out. You never know. If you do make it into the group, you're in for life. It's awesome. Touring around the world, playing drums. It's living the dream, man. This is inside of the... inside the training hall of Kodo. I can walk around? Okay. I do that stretch. Can I make fun of me? But I do that stretch. Yes. Looks like a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. Taiko drumsticks come in all sorts of uh, different sizes and shapes and weights. And... Wow. So I'm like, I can walk around this direction while they're playing. This is pretty cool. As long as I don't, I can't walk through them because I don't want to get hit with a stick. Oh, look at all the instruments here. I thought that was coffee beans, but that this all makes a, a very specific sound that's necessary for the piece they're about to perform. All right, they're preparing right now. The piece in, is called The Hunted joining us. The piece is called The Hunted, and it's about six minutes long, um, and it's extremely intense, so I think you're going to love this. It's hardcore taiko. This is hardcore taiko. This, this is going to stay with you the rest of the day. I don't know if you want to watch this before you go to bed, because you're going to be so cranked up.
piece will be performed on stage. They're, they have to set the the instruments up, the top of the drums up, and in uh, the position that they'll be playing. So this is rehearsal. Rehearsal with a dude who's live streaming it. <laughs> There's the directors over there. They also film it up here.
some. Can you hear the applause? It's just no applause because it's training. <laughs> it's just practice, but that was incredible. That's incredible. That piece is called The Hunted, and you can just feel the intensity, not just in the drum beats, but if you're in front of there and you're watching, then you can see the intensity on their face, right? That was intense, man. Thanks. <laughs> That's just practice. Yeah. So this is Leo. Hi, guys. Uh, how long have you been part of uh, Photo? Um, ooh. Uh, I joined um, the apprenticeship when in 2000. I want to say 14, 13. Mm. Um, so it's so you do two years of apprenticeship, and I've been a member after that. So I would say five years. Five, five years. Six. Yeah. Wow. And the apprenticeship is again. I was telling everybody the apprenticeship is pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you spent two years in a mountain. And you have no phone, no internet, no YouTube. No uh, YouTube, sorry, <laughs> the apprentices aren't watching this. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and you live in this abandoned middle school on top of a mountain, and you wake up at 5 in the morning, and you run like 10K every day. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty intense. You harvest your own rice, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and what did it feel like when you made it to the group you were accepted in after two years? Um, it's been great. Relief, <laughs> yeah. right? Because uh, um, it's it's not everyone makes it. Uh, it's a really really tough um, selection process. Yeah. So there are years when nobody makes it. Um, maybe only one person out of the whole class makes it. Um, but fortunately, uh, me and a lot of my uh, uh, classmates made it. So yeah. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about the piece and your, and your mm -hmm. tour that's coming up. Yeah. This is called The Hunted. What yeah. can you tell me about it? So this um, piece is actually um, pretty old. Uh, I would say it, it uh, I don't know when it was written. In the 80s, um, there was a movie called The Hunted where Kodo did the soundtrack. And so this is actually the title, uh, the theme song of uh, the movie. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we've kind of reinterpreted it. Um, um, and kind of reworked it into kind of our repertoire right now, so. Yeah, Kodo gets, well, commissioned to do a lot of pieces, right? Yeah, for, yeah. for TV commercials, for movies, it's yeah. pretty incredible. Uh, the, and uh, you're going on tour in a couple of weeks. Yeah, so. Until April, right? Yeah. Wow. We're close to three months, two and a half months. We're going to be traveling all over Europe, um, about 30 shows in uh, two and a half months. Oh, speaking so. the Deutsch? Yes. <laughs> oh, real, really? Whoa, we got a lot, of, a lot of people from Germany that are watching. Oh, really? Yeah, all over the world. Uh, we, I think we're going, uh, Berlin is I think our last show of the tour. Uh, oh, cool. I think we're, we're going to I, uh, like three or four cities in Germany. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. And I mean, do you get a chance when you're traveling to see any of the places? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have a, maybe a day off somewhere, uh, usually, you know, once or twice a week or in between shows. So we get to just travel around, sightsee, you know, eat Relax. Food. Yeah, yeah. Because you're intense in, during training. Yeah, exactly. It's so <laughs> intense. It's crazy intense. Uh, so these are like your brothers and sisters, you would, you yeah, would say, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I think when you spend a lot of time together with people, like I do with you, you become kind of like family. That's important. Um, great. I was really impressed with, with it very much. So, and probably I'll see you again in, in the Earth Celebration, yeah, which is in the summer. Is the date decided? Uh, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, in, it's in August, right? It's, it's I know August. it's in August. The, yeah. the website goes up in April. The tickets go on sale in May. Mm -hmm. And definitely the, the summer is such a wonderful time to be on Sato island because the weather's warmer than today yeah exactly it's, it's, it's crazy windy and cold and snowing here but we we love it and the taiko drums uh give us give me the energy it's better than coffee it's better than coffee thank you Leo. all right thank you so much yeah all right so that's that's kodo it's incredible and like just a few weeks ago i believe they were at the um uh unveiling of the tokyo olympic stadium which is so exciting to see and just to get a glimpse all of us to see how they train a little bit behind the scenes, how they stretch. They take taiko drumming to another level. The professionalism um, is extreme because this is their profession. Once you are accepted to become a taiko, uh, a koto member, that's your job. 
I want you to think about that. Your job is to drum. And when that is your job, you get really, really good at it. And you perfect every single piece of it. Every single minute thing becomes very important. And you can see their training over there. The training over there. And uh, they're coached very well by people as, as they um, experience members. And when they get there to perform, every single thing that they do is very, very, very well done. It's perfected. And I think that gives you um, not just a great performance, but it affects you emotionally. I remember I was so spent after watching the Earth Celebration this summer for, uh, it was, it, there, I think it was four days, four days long for it. And it was an incredible feeling um, to be there and to witness it live. Um, actually, Todd here, Todd, you want to get in on this? You don't have to. Todd, you saw them when you were in, in Stanford? Yeah, they blew me away the first few seconds of the performance. When I was, was that? Like, uh, back in uh, mid-90s. Mid-90s? Yeah. So I know Koda's been at it for, for decades, so uh, a lot of people have stories. You, you know, when you go to see Koda, just like really top bands, you know, when they do live, you don't forget it. It's like a moment in your life. It's like place marked. I saw Koda in 95 at Stanford. It's like, that's a thing. That's, <laughs> that's pretty big. And then I heard that when they did the Boston performances, they would run the marathon first and then go perform. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously? And we checked, and yes, it's, Wait, it's epic. Wait, what? And they became famous for that. Wait, they would run the Boston marathon and then perform? What? Dude, really? I'd never heard that before. Late breaking news. <laughs> they actually run a marathon before they play. That's crazy. I can't. I, when I run a marathon, I... I order pizza and I go to sleep for two days. <laughs> they perform. That's crazy. So what a treat we had here. Just a 30 minute live stream, but uh, thanks just so, so much for joining me. Do share this if you thought that this was a pretty uh, interesting performance and um, hit the like button. And I put a link in the description. Take a look at it. it. It gives you some information on the European tour. And if you get a chance to go see them live, do so. Because like, as Todd said, it's a mark like a milestone in your life. It's a pretty big deal to go and see them live. Cause I know you got a you can kind of feel it through, through YouTube here, but it's like when you're in front of them, every single beat and each one of these having a different pitch hits you in different places in your body in a good way. Just like kind of massages you and makes you feel more energetic. And that's what I, I love personally about it. Can I do Taiko? Yeah, no, it's not, it's, it's hard, but if you practice, you can get better and better at it, but it really is a discipline and a practice and it's something that takes a lot of time. It's the way you, you stand and, and control your body, right? Yeah. <laughs> You've done it before, right? Yeah. You want to? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no? <laughs> now you're, it's too late now. But you've done taiko before. I have done taiko before. What's the most difficult thing about it? Uh, physical strength and probably control. Physical strength. But making the perfect sound is probably the hardest. Yeah, striking it consistently in the right spot over and over and over and over and over again. So thank you so much to, to Kodo for letting us film. Um, we're getting out of here. I'm going back to to Tokyo, but what a treat it was to get an inside look at Kodo. Guys, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. And I, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be reading <laughs> the comments. So if you liked it, tell us what you thought. That was The Hunted. See you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. Just look at this drum for five seconds as the thing pops up for you to subscribe. And definitely subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs>